What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Well, a goose, right? A goose is a female bird. A gander is her male counterpart. Now, if I'm in the garden and I'm feeding geese, right? Geese, the geese would be the male and the female together. And the goslings, well, I suppose, maybe not the goslings, because the goslings would be smaller, they'd be babies. So, if I give a piece of bread to a goose, and I give a bigger piece of bread to the gander, there'll be mutiny in the ranks, there'll be war, there'll be trouble, it wouldn't be worth it. It wouldn't be worth the hassle and the stress and the sleepless nights. They tell all the other geese and there'd be, there'd be mutiny, mutiny, I tell you, mutiny. So, 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 so this is it, right? I have to give the same size bread to both the goose and the gander, okay? Because they're smart, you say. They'll notice it. They'll notice it if you give one slightly, slightly bigger piece of bread to the other. Or a bit of food or whatever we're giving them. So I'd be walking down the street one day, you know. I, I'd be walking down the street. And, uh, you know, I, you're, you know yourself, you'll be thinking about the game. And you'll be thinking about Sunday's football match or the weekend's holding match or whatever, you know. Or you'll be thinking about what you ate last night for dinner. It doesn't really matter. You'll be thinking anyway. And I remember one day Paddy came up to me and Paddy was, he had an awful look at his face, like a very confused look. And he came up to me and he said, Seamus, you seem to be knowledgeable about a lot of things. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> Paddy, there's no problem. I ask you, eh? Relax, calm down. Calm down for yourself. Sit down and talk to me. So Paddy comes out with these things and he says to me, he says, will you tell me what does it mean? It, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. <laughs> oh, gee. I, I nearly, I had to sit down myself because I had to refrain myself from going into a long, 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 long talk about it all. So I said to him like this, I said, listen, the goose and the gander, they're very competitive, very competitive, right? And they're very, very smart animals. So if you give something to a goose, you have to give exactly the same to the gander because they'll get infuriated. They'll get infuriated, they'll get jealous, they won't be able to, all the emotions will flow to them, they won't be able to handle it. So the best thing to do is give them the same size. So you can take that into a wider application in life, as simple as this. What's good for a woman is good for a man. And by God, if, if, if that was ever true, it is true today. Mightn't have been true 60 years ago, but it's true these days. So if a woman can earn 100 grand a year, why can't a man do it? Or if a man earned 2 euros a day, why can't a woman earn 2, two, two euros a day? That's it, no, Paddy? Does that explain it to you? And Paddy, of course, looking at him, a big sigh of relief washed over his face. He says, oh, by God, Seamus, that, that's after opening my mind completely. You blow me away, boy. Well, I shook his hand and I walked away. So now, that's what it means. Give the same bit of bread to the gander as you would to the goose. Because if you don't, there'll be trouble. I'm Seamus. I'll talk to you tomorrow.